What's up guys, welcome back to Mindy Doing Things. I'm Mindy, I like doing things, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to turn this into this. Wait, that wasn't right, let's do that again. Wait, that's still not right. Let's try that again. Here we go. Today we're gonna talk about how I made a custom stamp to stamp these notebooks specifically for the Toys Bastards, which is my company. Boom! All right, so here's everything I used for this project. There's a drawing of what I wanted my stamp to be. I used a pencil, a rubber stamp pad, and I used a speedball linoleum cutter, which is just like a stamp carving tool. That is block printing ink, and I used a brayer to spread that ink. So I've already roughly sketched out what I want to put onto the stamp. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go back in with my pencil, and I'm gonna really go over the lines, darken them up real good, and just make sure that there's gonna be a lot of graphite on this, so that way when I take this and put it onto my rubber block later to transfer the graphite over it, there's enough graphite that it will transfer. So let's do that. Cool beans. So I'm gonna take my drawing and I'm gonna put it face down onto the stamp pad and I'm just gonna hit it with the rounded edge of this knife and really smash that graphite onto the rubber. That way, once I peel the drawing off, we have a good image transfer. So let's see how that turned out. And it turned out money. Okay, so we have our image transferred onto the stamp pad and we're ready to carve. And the way that this works is everything that I want to transfer onto the notebook, I'm gonna leave here and then I'm gonna carve around all the lines. And then everything that I don't want on a notebook, like the background, I'm just gonna carve all of it out. So. That'll make more sense once you see it, but let's do it. I basically trimmed around the entire outline of the drawing, and now I just have to go in to the inside of the drawing and do all the little teeny tiny detail stuff. Coffee break! I'm drinking Habit Coffee, which is available at yournewhabit.com, and my code BACON saves at checkout. I think I'm almost done? Yeah. No. <laughs> like, not at all. <laughs> it's taking so much longer than I thought. Looks cool, though. It's taking a long time. What's taking so long? Um, the you carving. To carve. It's you all the really detail. <laughs> All the, yeah, all the detail. You couldn't have picked like smiley face. That rubber stuff looks like mozzarella cheese. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now that I'm full of coffee, we're ready to get back to business and carve the rest of this bad boy out. Let's get this thing moving. I feel like I lost a year off my life, but we're finally done. Carving out the stamp. I'm gonna do a test print, and if it looks good, let's get inking. So your girl just took a sketchbook and wrapped it in saran wrap so I could pour the ink onto you for the brayer. Like, you can use a piece of glass or like a specific tray, but I'm not rich, so I just used whatever I had. And it seemed to work okay, so that's what I'll be doing from now on. This is our test print, and I have to say it came out pretty well, so I'm pretty stoked on it, and we're gonna move on to the notebooks. As a small business owner and someone that's putting something into the world for other people to enjoy, it's important to me that all of my supporters have a unique and personalized experience when they buy from me. And if that means spending all day carving and stamping notebooks, then that's a small price to pay to set my company apart from others. So how are you guys doing? I'm doing good, you know, staying busy. But I'm not carving custom stamps, I'm skateboarding with my dog and... Lifting weights and stuff. You know, the good stuff. If you haven't seen my last video where I make this custom skateboard, you should definitely check it out. It was a super fun day and I think it came out great. Good morning. We're officially on day two of this project. I have all of the journals stamped from yesterday and they're sitting out and drying right now. And once they're dry, we're gonna spray over it with a fixative. And right now, in the meantime, while they're drying, I'm gonna make us some art prints. So I'm gonna take just standard, thick paper and I'm gonna trim these to five and a half by seven and a half sheets. That way if you guys decide to frame them, you guys can use a five by seven frame 
and then have a quarter inch trim on all sides to be able to frame it nicely. So here I have my ruler. I'm just gonna use it to mark out five and a half by seven and a half inches on my paper. And then from here, I'm ripping it against the edge of the ruler to give it a nice deckled edge, like a rough edge. So here we are again, we're gonna do a good old rinse and repeat with the stamping and the inking and the saran wrap, you know. So I'm only gonna make 25 of these bad boys. I'm gonna number all of them, one through 25, and add my signature to the mix, and that's all she wrote. I basically spent all day just stamping these prints for you guys, and it wasn't a super sexy time, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward you guys on to tomorrow. Okay, so I'm outside. Ooh. Okay, so I'm outside now and I've got this can of workable fixative that I'm gonna spray onto these freshly stamped notebooks and that kind of just seals everything and protects the ink. So let's spread them out. So now that the fixative is dry, I've gone through and put my eyeballs on every single one of these. I've taken out some that um, I, I wasn't too happy with for like the printing reasons, like this one and this one. I'm just, I'm just not stoked with how they came out, so I'm not going to sell them. But out of all the ones that came out, I have 60 of them in front of me. 60. So that means I'm gonna number them 1 through 60. I'm gonna write a cute little note on the inside flap of each one and get these out to you guys. Boom! So I just went through and I signed all these, I numbered all of them, I put them into these little clear sleeves, and on the outside I just wrote down the number of each notebook with Sharpie, that way my packaging guys over at my warehouse know which ones to package because I want these to be packaged numerically. So if you're the first one that orders my notebook, you're gonna get this bad boy right here, number one. So let's move on to the prints. I'm packaging the prints right now, but I don't want them to get bent during shipping. So I've cut out little pieces of cardboard that I'm gonna repurpose for backings. So I wanna take my cardboard and I'm gonna take my print and set them together like this and put them into the sleeves. So when you guys order prints and you guys get a piece of cardboard that's like an Amazon box, don't be surprised. I am trying to reuse that cardboard and protect your prints. I wanted to show you guys how cool these prints look when you frame them. So I made myself a print and I have this frame. It's got a painting in it that I did a long time ago that Matt seems to hate. He thinks it's creepy, which I don't understand. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this painting out of this frame and put my new print into it. So let's do that. It's very creepy. It's not creepy. What What about, what about this is creepy? I don't understand. It looks like a My Chemical Romance album cover. What's creepy about that? MCR is a shit. She's beautiful. All right guys, it's been an exhausting three days. But if you guys are watching this right now, that means that the notebook and the prints are available at NotoriousBastards.com. Please check it out. It's my company. Come support your girls, support small businesses. That's the rad thing to do. Um, subscribe, like the video. I'll catch you guys next week. I'm feeling really creative these days, so I think next week's video is gonna be a good one. So, goodbye.